hey everyone welcome back to another video and in this video we are going to learn one more feature from xcode so you must know that many times if your phone is going out of memory then your phone start performing very slow and it gets heats up so to uh, so sometimes you want that condition also to be tested before deploying your application so how you can test your application in different thermal conditions for example that if your memory is low and your phone gets heats up and how your application performs in that condition if you want to test how you can do this so for that you have this option available inside xcode which i'm going to show you now so first thing what you have to do is op uh, so here i have opened one application that is not necessary that what this application does but we want to see how you can check that thermal condition option so first make sure you connect to an actual device then go to window then devices and simulators and here make sure you select the devices and select the device which you have connected and then at the bottom you can see here you have the option of condition and now here i will select thermal state and once i select that then below that you get one more option that what type of thermal condition you want to test your application under so for example if it is fair it means it's normal your phone is not heated up but if it is serious then it means that okay now your phone is under serious condition where it is heat heats up completely and now your application will get less cpu and available resources so that's why it will then start performing in that uh, you can say virtual condition and then last one is the critical so let's see one one option at a time so if i select fair you can see here it is written as the system behaves as though under slightly elevated thermal state since it is not completely heated up it started to heat it up it is that condition then we have serious it says the system behaves as the under a high thermal state at this state the app should reduce usage of cpu gpu and input output such as networking or bluetooth so it will directly stop using uh, networking and bluetooth condition and cpu and gpu usage not completely but slightly less when it will be under serious condition and now the last option is critical where it says the system behaves as though there is a significant thermal impact at the state the app should reduce usage of cpu gpu and this to the minimal levels for user interaction so it will go beyond critical so sorry beyond serious to a critical state so this is these are the three conditions which you can test your app under so you just have to select here thermal in the condition then under profile you have to select any option i will select critical and then you have to say start and now you can run your application and test your application and you will come to know how it is behaving in that condition and this will be very good option if your user base is huge then you can test this application also and you can sometimes give to this to your qa also tester to test your application under this condition and once you are done with the testing you can stop it here by clicking on this stop and it will just say tearing down and it will stop that condition and then you also have this option to set the none to make sure that there are no conditions applied now and just close this so this is how you can test your application under different thermal conditions and in the last video i have shown you how you can test your application under different network conditions like low network high network 3g 4g like this so for that also we have gone here and we have, we have selected network link here and we have selected different options like 2G, 3G, LTE but uh, if you know that this can be done for the Xcode and simulator part but if you want to do this on actual device that is also very easy what you have to do is you have to go under settings application uh, I will show you here only here under settings if you go here we don't have option of Wi-Fi but if you select Wi-Fi and then after that it will show you the Wi-Fi you are connected to and beside that you have this eye icon small there if you click on that eye icon then you will see the option on the new screen that low data mode you just have to enable that option and then your simulator or no not simulator the actual device will start working on the low uh, network data so this is option is available for both Wi-Fi and your uh, cellular network so you can just 
turn that option on and then you can test your application under low network data so that's all guys for today's video i hope you have learned something new and if it has helped you make sure you select this with your friends also so that they will also learn something new so yeah thank you for watching this video bye